So now that I've shown you a scalar valued user defined functions, I'm going to show you uh, table valued user defined functions and inline table valued user defined functions. Unfortunately, uh, the creators of the SQL language made this much more complicated than it needed it needs to be. It's, it's actually pretty straightforward if you can get get uh, used to the gotchas. So, so if you look at this example I had in the previous video here, this get num orders, I'm returning an int, and a scalar is basically one value. So, int char var char uh, some of the binary data types, all that. If I'm returning one value, then it's a scalar user defined function. A Table user defined function is one that returns a table, and the syntax is a little different depending on on uh, some variations I'll show you here in the future. But basically, that's that's the difference. One returns a scalar, meaning one value, and the other types of functions return a table. So I'm just going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to first I'm going to show you inline table valued function, and the reason we say inline is is well let me just show you. I'm going to say returns table. Okay, so now I'm getting them orders returns a table, not just one value. I'm going to say as still, but I'm going to get rid of the begin and the end. I'm just going to say, hey, um, select, notice I'm, I'm deleting here ret, which is our scalar value. Instead, what I want to do is, um, let me back this up a little bit. I just want to return the count. I don't want to have to s make this temporary variable and then return the temporary variable. That's, that's kind of verbose. So I'm going to get rid of that and rid of that. I'm just going to say, hey, return select count splat from orders where customer ID equals at customer ID. That's it. I just want to do it. I don't want to create the temporary value. I don't want my begin and end because I'm not going to do a whole bunch of scripting. I just want to say, hey, go grab the value and return it. So let me, just because I'm picky on my spacing here, let me space this incorrectly. Okay, so let's hit F5. Notice I still have this object ID check I showed in the last video. If it's there, delete it and then recreate it as this. But notice down here we're declaring at num orders and I'm saying num orders gets get num orders. Well, at num orders is an int, but we are no longer returning an int. So this isn't going to work. So I'm actually going to delete this for now and just um, execute this as is. And remember, this, this is going to persist this function over here in the object explorer under. But it's not going to be scalar valued anymore. It's going to be table valued. So let's run this, F5. We get an error. Create function failed because the column name is not specified in column. Well, oh yeah, that's another thing. These all columns must have a name with with these functions. So I'm going to say uh, num orders. I'm just going to name the uh, column here that we select. And if it helps you to, for me to put an as here, I will. Okay, let's re let's run that. Okay, commands completed successfully. Very cool. All right, so let's use this thing. Well, I can't I can't say exec anymore uh, and get a single value. Exec is for calling those scalar valued functions. In fact, maybe that's why they made the differentiation, is just to confuse us more. But instead, I, uh, getting them orders returns a table now. Returns a whole, in fact, the results of a query. So now uh, this is kind of simple and basic, I know, but I'm going to say select splat from, and I'm going to invoke get num orders. So get num orders. And hit F5, and of course we get an error. Parameters are not split. Oh yeah, I need alf ki. Run that. Dangrix and oh, <laughs> okay. So this is another headache of the SQL language. Remember in the last video I didn't use parentheses. Well, here when we're using table valued functions to pass arguments, I have to use parentheses. Ugh, lots of lots of things I wish we didn't have to worry about, but we do. Okay, there we go. So now notice I'm getting a table back. I'm not getting a single value anymore. I'm getting a table, and it just so happens the way we made this, this, uh, this query here, it returns just one value. But we could change this up. Let's just have some fun. I'm gonna say, uh, from orders, instead of saying select count splat, let's just say select splat. Let's 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 return a much more involved table than just something with one row and one cell. So rerun that, and there you know, there you go. We get all that stuff, all the Customer information for ALF KI, all the order information, I mean. So, anyway, we're going to see um, see doing views and some other ways of getting similar results. And Anyway, but that, that's a that's an inline table value function. Uh, 